Okay, so I want to talk about the diameter of a graph here. And so what the diameter is about is about talking about connecting two vertices. So connecting A to B, B to C, and then A to C. And so I know going from A to B is 1, and B to C is 1, but going from A to C is 2. That's the shortest distance. And so what it's, I could go to C, I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, make it 6, a path of 6, or I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So there's lots of different paths that will go from A to C, but the shortest distance is 2. And what the diameter is asking for is of all these distances that connect all the vertices, so here's 1, here's 1, and AC, the shortest distance is 2. This is the longest distance of all the sh ways to get from one vertex to all of the other vert vertices. So 2 is the diameter. So when we talk about the questions that were on the textbook, okay, here were the adjacency matrices for 3A. Um, it's actually not there, but we can see they look at uh, m squared is here, and m had zeros and ones. When they put m and m plus, we can see that there are no zeros. In the m matrix, there would have been some zeros in there. Because there's no zeros, that means it connects all the, all the vertices together, and this is the first combination of m's that connect them, and so the di diameter is 2. It's this 2 here, not this 2. So when I go to B part, again, we know that this is m plus m squared plus m cubed. There are no zeros here. If I just look at m and m squared, there's still a few zeros. So all of the vertices, so in this case, a and d are not connected yet. I need to go further. If I go here, a and d is connected. And so I know the, the diameter then of this graph is going to be 3 because it takes th the smallest possible way to connect the furthest one apart is three different walks. So that's what the diameter is talking about. I hope that helps.